Okay, next topic is Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is a group of clinical abnormalities caused by prolonged exposure to increased amounts of cortisol or related corticosteroids. Now, Cushing syndrome has very characteristic findings as we know. Um, it includes deposition of adipose tissues in characteristic sites, which can cause a central obesity. These patients have a central truncal obesity with moon faces and a buffalo hump. Other things that you're gonna see in these patients you're going to see striae, you're going to see osteoporosis. Many times you're going to see diabetes mellitus. A lot of these patients have psychiatric problems. You're going to look for poor wound healing. In males, you're going to look for impotence. And in females, you're going to look for menstrual irregularities or viral, virilism. Now, hypertension is actually another important one you have to know for Cushing's. Now, if you see any of these signs, what's the first step? Our first step is our overnight dexamethasone suppression test, okay? And when we do the one milligram overnight dexamethasone test, we're gonna give a milligram of dexamethasone at 11 p.m. And the cortisol level at 8, at 8 a.m. should come to normal if there's a normal ability to suppress ACTH production over the last several hours. If not, it's gonna be an abnormal test, and we have to confirm this with a 24-hour urine cortisol in order to make our diagnosis of Cushing syndrome. So our gold standard is going to be 24-hour urine cortisol, but our first step is going to be overnight dexamethasone suppression test. Now, an abnormal um, overnight dexamethasone suppression test can actually be falsely positive. That's another reason we're going to confirm it with a 24-hour urine cortisol. And things that can cause a false positive are stress, stressors, okay? Stressors including alcoholism, depression, drugs such as rifampin and carbamazepine, which actually increase dexamethasone metabolism, can also cause false positives. Now, once we confirm with a 24-hour urine cortisol, our next step is going to be a high-dose dexamethasone test. But if they ask for the test with the highest specificity, you're gonna go, you're gonna put down 24 hour urine cortisol, okay? Now, once we've confirmed with the 24 hour urine cortisol, we want we want to find out what is the cause of the Cushing syndrome, okay? And the test we're gonna do to find out what is the cause of the Cushing syndrome is a high dose dexamethasone test, okay? It's gonna actually um, let us see what the cause actually is. Now, once we do the high dose dexamethasone test, if it is suppressed, we know it's a pituitary adenoma, and our next step is to scan the pituitary with MRI and remove by transphenoidal surgery. And if MRI does not show a lesion, what we want to do is inferior petrosal venous sinus sampling, okay? This inferior petrosal venous, venous sinus sampling is actually gonna allow us to localize the precise source of the ACTH being um, secreted and surgical resection may be necessary, okay? So Cushing syndrome, first step, overnight dexamethasone test. We may have false positives because of stressors, so we're gonna confirm with a 24-hour urine cortisol, which is our gold standard and has the highest specificity of all the tests. And next, we're going to do a high-dose dexamethasone once we've confirmed its Cushing's to find out what the cause of Cushing's is. And on the high dose, if it's suppressed, we've come to the conclusion it's going to be pituitary adenoma, and we're going to remove it by transphenoidal surgery um, after we scan it with an MRI. If the MRI doesn't show a lesion, we're going to do inferior petrosal venous sinus sampling to localize the precise source of the ECTH, and we may still have to do surgical resection. Now, when we do our high-dose dexamethasone test, if there's no suppression, we know it can be one of two things, okay? Um, it's either an ectopic production or it's cancer. It's going to be either adrenal or lung origin, and in order to find out whether it's an adrenal or lung or origin, we're going to have to check the ACTH level. Now, if we did a high-dose dexamethasone after we found out it's Cushing's and we found no suppression, we know it's ectopic or, or cancer, right? To find out which one it is, um, to find out whether it's an adrenal or lung origin, we're going to check our ACTH. If the ACTH is high, this is going to be a paraneoplastic syndrome, um, and it's going to be a lung cancer, 
and our next step is going to be a CT of the chest and surgical resection may be necessary. But when we check our ECTH, if the ECTH is decreased, we're going to know it's an adrenal origin and we're going to do a CT of the adrenals. And either way, surgical resection may be necessary. Okay? And remember, tumors that are unresectable can be treated by medical therapy. And the medical therapy we can use is metyrapone or ketoconazole. So let's do a quick review of Cushing's. Cushing's, our first step is going to be an overnight dexamethasone suppression test. It can be falsely positive because of various stressors like alcoholism, depression, or drugs. That's why we have to confirm it with a 24-hour urine cortisol, which is our gold standard and a high spe specificity. At this point, we we know it's Cushing syndrome, and we want to find out what the type, uh, what the reason for the Cushing syndrome is. So we do a high dose dexamethasone test. If it's suppressed, we know it's a pituitary adenoma, and we're going to scan it with an MRI and remove it by transfetal oil surgery. If the MRI doesn't show the lesion, we're going to do an inferior petrosal venous sinus, sinus sampling, and that's going to localize a precise, precise source of the ACTH. On high dose dexamethasone, if there's no suppression, we know it's an ectopic or it's cancer. And if there's no suppression, we have to do an ACTH to find out the source. If the ACTH is high, we know it's going to be lung cancer that's the source. And our next step is CT of the chest. And if the ACTH is decreased, it's going to be adrenal source. And our next step is CT of the adrenals. And surgical resection may be necessary. And if we can't do surgery, we're going to use drugs. And the drugs that we can use are metyrapone or ketoconazole. And that's pretty much everything we have to know for Cushing's for step two and three. Enjoy, guys.